It's back going again. So, like I said, like we were saying, you know, the United States of America is a front. It's a front for something. We don't know what it's for. Um, in order to to better the country, we have to change the constitution. Because think about it, I might be only five percent human still. No wonder we're smarter than we should be with the less education because we're not human. You think about it, what do you think about that? We still five percent human. It's that it's that. It's that 95% non-human that keeps black people in America alive. What do you think? <laughs> you know I think I think it's, it's all the stuff we had to deal with. Mm -hmm. It keeps us stronger and it keeps us pushing on and looking for the next thing to to push us to push to to to, to stabilize ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We trying, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff collapsing around us far as the economy and everything else, you know? You know, the but, economy is the black man's fault because, yeah, if we were still enslaved, they'd make more money off whatever they did and they wouldn't have to worry about black social shit, none of that shit. They, If we were still slaves, would America be a better place now? I don't think so. I think if we were still yeah. slaves, America would be even worse. Oh, they knew what they was doing, man. People out there, y'all need to wake up to the fact that, like, like the real AI used to be saying, like Lonzo be saying, we all, we all basically slaves right now, you know, mentally and and physically. Yes, we all go to work and, it, and for these bullshit hours, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and then and get our little checks. But at the end of the day, it's people behind that shit, you know, making billions, you know, exactly. billions upon billions, and they mm -hmm. tell you when to come in, they tell you when to go eat, you know what I'm saying? This it's all exactly. it's all a different level of slavery, you because know what I'm saying? But it's still now, the same or F L A V E, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's the same thing. And and, so. and and like I said, the white men have raced the white race into the ground. You know what I mean? It's like White people in general, I have no problem with white people. You know, I got white family members. I got, you know, I, it's white has been in my life my entire life, and I try to tell these people, when my white friends come over here talking about, fuck, I'm tired, everybody sees me as a white man, and they expect me to have money. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, you're a regular guy. He says, I'm a plumber. I can't even go to work because they will pay a Mexican guy $9 an hour to work right next to me doing exactly the same thing I'm doing. I'm making, you know, $62 an hour, $40, whatever the fuck he's making. And come on, how can you sit and that's, there? That's, that's, that's supposed to break his spirit, you know. Yeah, it, it did break his spirit. About the divide and conquer. Yeah. He set that up. Like, we'll, the, you have you have a group of people saying, ah, uh, damn uh, Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Illegal immigrants, you know exactly. what I'm saying? But at the same time, the, the, the different corporations is loving that they can use them and expose them and, and just use them for for cheap cheap dollars, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But at the same time, it's just setting up a divide and conquer. You got people mad because they taking their jobs, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, but look, it's all, it's from, all from, a a team. <laughs> from a business perspective, you know just as well as I do, I'm going to hire a guy that can do the exact same job for less money every time. I don't care if he's mm -hmm. black. I don't care if he's white. I don't care if he's Mexican. If a white man walk up to me right now and says, I'll do the job for nine seventy five, and the Mexican guy talking about, shit, that's what I'm making. Who you gonna hire? You gonna hire the guy with the most experience at that point. Because if the guy with the oh, most yeah. experience is willing to do it the same as the guy with the least experience, then why the fuck should you pay the least guy? But when you're in a situation to where you got a deadline that's about saving money, I'm going to hire the guy that's going to do the job to the same quality and standard, but for the lower price. I don't give a fuck if I'm hurting some black dude's feelings or some white dude's feelings. I'm hiring a Mexican because I'm saving money. And that's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong not to give these people the opportunity, but it's wrong to hire somebody for the sole purpose of undercutting someone else from money. And that's, that's, and that's like how it goes. Capitalism, like, capitalism, that's what this country That's it. It's like, so we have never been in a, in a, in one, what's this, what they say? They say they don't want capitalism. Well, we've been in capitalism forever. Hey. See what I'm saying? The thing is, they, dis they, dis they disguised it. And you couldn't see it for what it was worth because they were benefiting from it. As long as they benefit from it, you can't see it. No, no, only the only the few, you know. Only the, the few. Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. 
Yeah. The, the, the Warburgs. And exactly. The, the you know, and then people talk about eight. Kanye West and uh, Oprah and Jay-Z. Now, if Jay-Z, Oprah, Bill Cosby, um, shit, whoever, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, whoever's got over $15 million, mm -hmm. if they all put $2 million in the bank account, if every rich... Uh, multi-millionaire black person put two, three million dollars in one bank account. Would anybody black have to be on welfare? No. Because when you look at welfare in, it, in its structure, you're only giving somebody seven, eight hundred dollars a month maximum. Maybe. Maybe. Hey. You know, and then you have to let that person maneuver through life with eight hundred dollars a month two kids maybe and this is white black or whoever they have to maneuver through life and through life you know how many people have survived off nothing yeah but you know I would even, so, be even more extreme with it you know what I'm thank saying thank you the, Will Smith and them they make pennies compared to what them people I just named off make well, but see, that's what my mother-in-law told me before she died I'm like Michael Jordan they trying to give him 20 a season 20 million he ain't worth 20 million. Wait a minute, boy, she said. If a white man can give Michael Jordan 20 million dollars a year, how much is Michael make. Jordan making for that man? And I shut the fuck up. Hey. Because if in order for me to give you 20 million, you got to be bringing me in a B shot. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You bring in 150 million. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Billions. Yes, they what I'm saying. bringing in billions. Like these people make billions. And, billions and, and sit around and and donate to these organizations just a million you know what I'm saying yeah. or they start different organizations and then you do research on it like you, let's take Bill Gates for instance you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying he over in Africa giving uh, shots to Africans that would stop them from having babies you know what I'm saying it, it, because of the AIDS problem you know versus uh, getting them treatment and teaching them how to uh, yeah. to practice, you know, safe sex or, or whatever they need to do to get rid of the AIDS. They just straight up stopping African babies and African uh and women and men from having babies all together. Well, see, you have to look you know? at it like that. That's a form. That's a form of eugenics, right there. Yeah, you know, it is and eugenics. Too. It's like, um, but but could could white America actually think real? What if say? The French decided, you know, white people are inferior. You know, French are slightly darker. I don't know. I don't know. They all look the same to me. It's like a bunch of black people. You get 50 black people in a room and one black guy do something wrong and there's 50 witnesses. Everybody going to point at the one black guy who looks like everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So these guys, these people look the same to me. Now all of them have blonde hair and blue eyes, but they white people look the same to me. Just like black people look all the same to them. When you group people all in one group, they become they, they become that group. So when white people figure that we blaming all white people for the situation, ain't nobody blaming all white people. We only blaming the top five percent. Elite. We only blame the elite. I never blame the poor white man like my buddy. <laughs> Nope, I had no problems. With I got no problem with. Like I said, I will march down the street with any white man. I'll go in, in the battle with any white person that's willing to fight with me. Don't fight against me. Don't make me your enemy because somebody told you to. And and that's the fucked up part about America. There's a lot of white people out there that believe that black people are bringing this country down. But there's a lot of Indians out there who know exactly who brought the country down. You know what I'm saying? Like the, we. Oh, there's an African American president. There's no Native American president. So what's the fucking big come up? There's a half African American president. They went halfway with it. We'll give you a black guy, but it's only gonna be half black. And it's the bottom line. So-called white America don't want to see black people in charge because as a whole, all they've seen is black people fuck up their own lives. And that was media, the media. They've been taught that we fuck ups. Just like we've been taught that they fucked up the world. So who's wrong? Are we wrong or are they wrong? Are they right or are we right? See what I'm saying? Both both wrong. That's what I'm saying. We're both wrong. There's no human beings anymore. It's just blacks, whites, and Mexicans, and so on, 